She's telling me about the chayote and I stop her mid sentence. <sighs> For YouTube. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me. Okay, so the chayote has all these little vines just coming off these little where they the, grow They're out. called chayotes. Or choco. Chayote? Choco? Anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. So this part is like really tender and you can eat it. So eat that and see what you think. I don't know. This is really tasty, do actually. I, do yeah. I eat that? Yeah, whole thing. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so tender. Take a bite. Take a bite. All the way into it. Isn't that tender? It's good. Tastes like a green bean. Yeah, kind of, huh? I mean, it's not it's bad. Good. It's fried up. Put some oil and butter on oh, it. Well, I know. You can, like, this can be your stir fry. Wow. So look, just look up there. Look how many there are. Look at you all those chayotes. Yeah. Like that, that just opens up a whole new meal menu because you don't That's actually it. really cool. Yeah. Because if you're talking about food, Oh, and real quick, Mom, I'll come back to that, but Bryce, tell me what you've been up to. Show me the graveyard. Okay, so I gotta stop making deals with my kids. We know what happened when I gave Bryce a bounty on the mice and he got me banned <laughs> for the most amazing video I've ever made. And we know when the girls made the snails and they, they made $40 and the other one made $30. Well, Bryce, how much are you getting paid? Tell me what's going on out here. Um, 25 cents for grasshoppers and the white butterflies. I got all those. <laughs> it's not too much. But... No grasshopper or butterfly was killed in the filming of this video. Holy cow, just take a picture. Look at that. There's Splash and Shasta over here eating all my apricots. Yeah, that might be a problem, but anyway, Welcome back to the homestead. So I just wanted to show you a little project that we're up to today. So we are over here at the the new rental, the first new rental, not the rock house. And um, so this property has with it uh, an extra quarter acre of what is going to be amazing pasture. So we've got all of that. Oh, and then you can't see the rest. And wait for it wait for it the bigger part is right back here so it actually might be a little bit more than a quarter of an acre so that is going to get a sprinkling system to it and so we're going to set our cow over here to rest our other two small pastures so with that though to make it easier for oops, mrs homestead i have had my handyman francis over here helping me make some stanchions for the cow so I'll tell you where the third one's going to go. So we have one at our house and then look at these. So maybe this video is how to build a stanchion. By the way, check it out. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. So it's not a pioneer historic home, but it's probably an 1820s or 30s, maybe a depression era home. Look at that fireplace. I've already kind of patched it all up. We're going to put, uh, well, I'm going to save that for later. Me and my squirrels. Okay, so we built some stanchions because we have uh, another pasture over there by the rock house. And then we have the pasture back here. So this is the, the stanchion. Imagine, as it were, that you were Splash. And you walked up on here. You stuck your head in here only to get your head locked in. Boo, yeah. Look at that. So, yeah, there is stanchion number one. And here over in the shed would be stanchion number two. So, my goal with a lot of stuff is to put in as much infrastructure as I can now. If if I'm going to use this for a pasture for my milk cows, I'm not gonna have my wife who does the heavy lifting on a daily basis of the homestead. I'm not gonna have her dragging that cow back and forth. That's probably an extra, probably 10 minutes of her time because cows are stubborn. So we put, you know, it probably took five hours to make two of them. So two and a half hours, uh, maybe a couple hundred dollars worth of, of uh, lumber. But now we have it so much more easy for her. 
And yeah, so this stanchion is gonna butt up. I'm gonna make a door right through here. So we'll be able to open that door, walk the cow straight in the stanchion, lock her in, set right here, milk her, and then back her up, back outside. So that's the project I'm doing today. I'll show you a little bit of my uh, progress and uh, we'll go from there. just love sawdust mixed with sweat mixed with spiders that is my life i don't like become weird for these youtube videos i just am weird okay so what i'm saying is that they're going to be out here playing in fact they should be out here playing <laughs> where are they at Splash! Shasta, come here! And we're gonna call this Temple View Pasture. Look at that. Seriously. <coughs> okay, so eventually we're gonna come out um, very soon, actually, and re-shingle this roof right over here. And then I wanna wrap these, these sheds in metal. So this one will be maybe a brown metal. And then of course we have to do the barn in red. I'm still trying to download in my mind, my creativity on what exactly I'm gonna do with that shed. We know that that wing over there is going to be the milking station. But like when they had these, they, they insulated like this wing and that wing and insulated that wing. I mean, kind of a cool little survival spaces, you know? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Look, it just came to play. So I didn't think about this. I just cut a hole through the deal. And uh, Becca, Mrs. Homestead is school shopping. So if one of you could please come and uh, make it so the cows don't come out, that would be amazing. Over. Okay. I'm deviating from the project because again, I've got a million squirrels in my life. But today, Jelly, also known on his birth certificate as Trevor, even though no one knows that's his real name. Yeah, we weren't like abusive parents by calling him Jelly. That's just the way it happened. Anyway, his name is Jelly. He just bought a truck today. Kid's 14 years old. Bought it with his own money. We just take a look at that bad boy. It's a 1981 uh, Ford 350 flatbed dually. <laughs> The thing is an absolute beast. We drove it like 150 miles home on the highway and it was just absolutely amazing. So yes, it's as long as it looks. It actually looks better when the rails are not on, but is that just see, so stinking cool? Hey, Jelly. Say hi to YouTube. Okay. Tell us what you did today, buddy. Huh? Tell us what you did today. Who's that for Jason? This is YouTube, baby. Bought a truck. Yeah. Is that awesome? His own money. The kid, like, seriously worked me over. I'm like, you're too young. I don't want to pay insurance. Yada, yada, yada. And, and he just convinced me anyway. He's got this tenacity, like his younger sister, Sienna, and the oldest, Kaysen. When it's on their mind, you just relinquish. Otherwise, you will never get your head or your life back. Love that about him, even though it drives me absolutely crazy. All right. Well, this is the moment we've all been waiting for um, because Bryce and Trevor, Jelly and Bean, are both here, Bean on the camera, and we're gonna see if this fits. Sorry, I was way thirsty. My Stanley, yes, I have a Stanley mug. It's not a Stanley, it's a Manly. 
Um, okay, so where's the other? Uh, this way. Yeah. He acts like his older brother. Okay, so. <laughs> So we have Sienna over here. She wants to be a part of the demolition as well. Look at that. Don't you know you're supposed to be wearing Tevas? I'm glad I'm not the only one itchy to get started with this. Pretty yeah, it's awesome. It's fun to break stuff. But it's funner when you're not exposed to it. All right, that's good. I don't want you to hurt your toesies. I think that'll actually work because uh, I don't have all the screws on. All right, YouTube, you tell me. Should I level that or no? Yeah. No, no, please no. Whatever's faster. Please no. Okay, so I'd like to thank Jelly and Bean for helping me. Uh, peace out. Okay, what do you think? Think Mrs. Homestead is going to be excited to have that done? I do. I don't know what else to say. I guess the video's over. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to show you her reaction, and then the video will be over. Hold on. Look at that. See, it's heavy enough that it's not gonna, it's gonna be bueno. Okay. okay. Well, go, thank you. Look at that. Aww. Jelly, what? open it. You made this for me? Holy mackerel. And there it is. Bless your heart. We were excited for the reaction. We kind of screwed it up, but. Thank you. Aww. You like it? I love it. Oh my heck. If you want to get to a woman's heart, you go through the cow. <laughs> These two awesome. are my helpers. You just built this? You built, built a door? You helped. You guys helped. And we really did, did the um, rock project too. It was so hard. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry, we fumbled through the surprise. It was kind of good. But now, literally, the middle of the night, we are going to build a little place to separate the calf. So, yes, it's uh, 1045, and uh, yes, the work is not done. Peace out. All right, well, the midnight wrestle is just about done. We've got the cage built. We got our best talent on it. What, Bryce, no, soft. It's lower. Look at that. You guys did good. Good night, Mr. Miss Shasta. So this is her temporary home, so she doesn't take all of the milk. No, go through the other way, Jelly. She is such a beautiful little baby. Wait, let's get Becca's reaction going through the stanchion. So if you guys think this is overkill, every time I do a project, we always have to do a million walkabouts, especially on Sunday afternoons. Okay. Oh my goodness! There we go. <laughs> So obviously I'm I the over dramatic it. one. Becca I is more subdued. It. This is her being excited though. I'm trying. 
I'm trying to be excited, but I am excited. I'm trying to show my excitement, you know? Like, I am excited. I love it so much. All right, Bean. So we have no idea if a monarch butterfly will be good for the greenhouse. But Luke. But come on. That is amazing. No, it's not. Go, go to your home. Your home is in the greenhouse. Okay, that's sad. If it doesn't get happy, we're just gonna let her go. What? All right, how much did you just make? Show me your hand. Uh, Six fifty. Good work. Whoa, Jelly, did you find that in the greenhouse? Mm-hmm. Truly is an amazing situation.